Hello everybody, Ginger Dragon here with another episode of StarCraft II High the Swarm. In the last one, we unlocked the Mutalisk Evolution mission after discovering some serious lore bomb droppings that have been going on. Holy crap. I love this planet so far. It's just, it's, uh, I'm eating the lore like it's candy. It's delicious. But uh, whatever, we're going to evolve our Mutalisks in preparation for the coming fight with the hybrids, which we will undoubtedly be fighting on the final level of whatever the hell this planet's called. Mutalisk strain ready for Oh, hello there. Mutation. Located feral broodlords must reacquire essence can be spun into Mutalisk strain. Ah, so we either re both of these units, well, this one's a pretty much one of the premier units of the Zerg ever since uh yeah, Wings of Liberty came out. But now the Viper, which is a new unit to Heart of the Swarm, it's a support flyer as as opposed to this one, which is a siege flyer. Oh boy. Yeah, manipulates battlefield conditions using its abilities, able to abduct targets and emit a disabling cloud, aka Dark Swarm. Or this one which just spawns broodlings and causes massive damage, as in addition to spawns broodlings, which is in itself pretty awesome. Alright, let's start. Dominion Defense Platform, Sigma Centauri, Feral Broodlords nearby. Missile turrets designed to kill mutalisks, stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. Alright, well, uh, where, where are my units? Oh, there they are. They're hatching from the oh, they're hatching from the wet Zerg tunnel entrance. Lords, recover essence. All right, well let's go for it. The Broodlord now Broodlords cannot attack air, so we're just gonna focus down on these Mutalists first. I'm manually targeting because I just know these brood, these my Mutas are going to be targeting the Broodlords. All right, gonna grab that essence, grab that sweet essence. All right, there we go. Now, for once, this is a mutation that actually is in multiplayer. <laughs> Assimilate their essence. Uh, wh wh where'd they go? They just sort of like disappear. Oh my! Ah, ah, ah. Don't look at them. They're ugly. Mutalisks <laughs> can morph into broodlord. Await your command. What? How does evolving broodlords make their wings rip by nature? Oh, whatever. Hammer the B button because these broodlords are on the house. Come on. Do 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 do. Ah, there we go. Excellent. The broodlords have arrived. Lord launches broodling. Assault ground targets from distance. Supplying mutalisks will protect broodlords. Complementary skills. He's right, you know. Because Broodlords, as we saw in the last one, cannot attack air. Right, I'm gonna send in the Broodlords first. Uh, I don't have the Broodlords selected. Alright, right, let's move you guys over there. Alright, wait until the Mutalists are far enough behind, and then attack move. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, the Broodlords actually outranged the missile turrets, it looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now those turrets tried to take down the, uh, where the whatever they're called. Uh, the Mutalists are here to take care of the Vikings, who will jump into the air sooner or later, apparently. Will they? Ah, oh, there they go. They're going to go for the Broodlords because they're... No, they aren't. They're going to go for the Mutalists because they're not smart. Uh, now, here's the unfortunate thing about this all whole ordeal. The Broodlords cannot attack air, which is a real bummer. But, hey. Oh, God. I've only got... How many Mutalists have... I've only got three left. Oh, I don't want to have to get reinforcements. No! Reinforcements are stupid. Oh boy, this could be dead. This could be bad. Oh man. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Abathur. Uh, that helps out like nothing you even you've ever heard of or known. Did you, did you just crush my broodlings with that? You're gonna pay. Oh my God, the Gibbs. <laughs> Gibbs everywhere. I don't even know what happened down there, but Gibbs. Oh my god, they're all over the place. It's a shower of blood and gore, and it's glorious. 
Uh, should probably go after. Should probably be going after the siege tanks, but whatever. Oh, uh, you guys might want to get out of there, Mutas. Don't you remember what Abathur said? It's stalemate. All right. Well, there we go. We saw the power of broodlings and the power of physics. Dominion Storage World. Here we are. Transport wreckage discovered. Jorium crystal contained within. Jorium, useful for experimentation, enhances psionic potential, must acquire. Yes, Jorium was what was used to make the... the oh, hello there, Mutas. Primal essences, new strain created, Viper, ready to assault Dominion. But uh, yes, the Jorium was what was actually used to create specters. Alright, so now we've got Vipers, which are brand new to Heart of the Swarm. Viper, strategic asset, abducts targets, pulls to its location, usable on ally or foe. Move across the river oh, and operations. operations to the other side. Alright, well, let's move. Uh, I don't know, I was just trying to see if the Vipers had anything special, because I gotta say, if I remember a few episodes ago when I said if I had to be a unit in the swarm, I would, or if I had to be a unit anything, I'd be a unit in the swarm. Well, the Vipers, who I'd be. Because, well, Vipers are freaking sweet. They're support flyers, which is just, like, perfect for me. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys to control group one. See you guys to control group three and, uh, control group one. Uh-oh. Uh, we're gonna de-abduct, de-abduct. There we go. Oh, just threw him off the side of the cliff. Get out of here, bro. Thankfully, these guys have not already been sieged up, which is great. This is their abductability, which overall is kinda eh. It's not bad, but what I'm really interested for in the Vipers is what will undoubtedly be demonstrated soon. Oh, I did not. That was S, not D. S, my D. Oh, abduct him! Bring him closer! Oh, and they're down. Sweet. Excellent. Right, let's keep on moving. Deeper and deeper. Viper emits disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. Yes, this is the one. Creates a cloud that slows movement speed and prevents enemy units and structures from attacking and using energy-based ability. God damn, that is an awesome ability. Let's use it. Boom. Rip that bunker apart. And there we go. And it's 10 seconds too, which is huge. Vipers are awesome. Now we're just gonna throw another one over here. Oh, it's beautiful. Move in for the kill. Uh, we're gonna pull the vipers up here. We're gonna abduct our aberrations. Almost called them abathers. Nope. Uh, wait, let's see. Consumption. Oh, yeah. That's the same thing that the. Uh, that's what they replaced the Terran egg with because they're stupid. Uh, Alright. Well, let's go ahead and use our uh, disabling cloud, which is B. Throw them down everywhere. The Terrans won't know what to do. They do have rates, which. Eh. Big whoop. Actually, I'm not sure. What, do Vipers have an attack? Oh, yeah. They have, I guess, they're anti air as well. Nice. Alright, and uh, we should be able to finish these guys off. Vipers don't even need to intervene. They're just going to chill up there in the sky. Oh, yeah. Jorium cargo secured. Must prepare Mutalisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. Alright, well, I already think. I think I know which one I'm going to go. Mutalisk Morph. I'm definitely going to be going Viper because, well, while usually, yes, I build my, I've been building my swarm to house as many units as possible, I'm going to go for the Viper because, you know, you, you can't just specialize forever, forever, and that disabling storm is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So we're going to grab that one. Evolution complete. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this Mutalisk evolution. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna wait for this long screen to pass, and then I'll do the outro. Alright, well, be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.